Okay, Senator, you're live. You can go ahead and proceed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This virtual confirmation hearing is now called to order. Today's date is Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. And the time now is exactly 11 o'clock in the morning. The Committee on Public Safety, Emergency Response, Military and Veterans Affairs, Marriage Council of Guam, Public and Public Transit is conducting a virtual information here today for the appointment of Tanya D. M. McDaniel to serve as youth member of the Board of Directors for the Guam Regional Transit Authority. And for the record, for the record and in conformance with section 8107 of chapter eight, title five GCA, the first confirmation hearing notice was sent out on Monday, October 24th, 2022 to adhere to the five working days requirement. And the second confirmation hearing notice was sent out on Friday, October 28, 2022, adhering to the 48 hours notice. And in addition to these notices, were also sent out to all media and posted on the Guam Legislature's works, work site, a website. First off, I would like to uh, thank uh, Tanya and Richard for being with us this morning. And I would also like uh, my colleagues, uh, those that are attending to, uh, I wanna thank them, thank them for their participation. We will now begin with uh, maybe we'll start with Richard. Richard, you want to go ahead and start? Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, Senator Peter Terlahi. Uh, thank you, uh, Tonya. Thank you, Senator Joanne Brown, Guam Legislature. Also, um, Chris. Um, I'd like to uh, thank Tonya for stepping up to assist uh, with GRTA as uh, a board, a youth board member. I did uh, look at her uh, resume and her background, and I think she'll be a very vital part of our board as far as the youth is concerned. And I look forward to uh, having meetings with her. Um, and of course, as a, a youth member to um, listen to her ideas to continue the mission of GRTA. And if there's anything that she has that can also improve our services, I will be all ears. Again, I, um, I'm very impressed with Tonya's um, uh, information that was provided to me. And I uh, support her uh, as a, an appointee for the Guam Regional Transit Authority uh, board of Directors as a youth member. Thank you very much. I also want to thank Tanya McDaniel for, for uh, volunteering for this service. And I just wanted to uh, kind of, because I was looking at your resume, Tanya, and I think you serve uh, very beneficial to the Guam Mass Transit. Is there anything that you wanna, uh, want to impart in, in as far as uh, strengthening the, uh, the operation of Mass Transit? Should I say, Tanya? Um, yes. Is this the part where I give my testimony? Yes. Awesome. Well, I'd like to say half a day and see this Maasi, Senator and Chairperson Jose Piri Tulahi for holding this hearing. I am grateful and humbled by my appointment as youth member to the Board of Directors of the Guam Regional Transit Authority, GRTA. Um, Again, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Tonya D. McDaniel. I'm a lifelong resident of, resident of Guam and recent graduate from the University of Guam. And as a resident, I am concerned about accessibility for our island communities most vulnerable, and as a youth, the sustainability of public transportation for our future. As a member of the board, I'll be dedicated to keeping Guam's public transportation system reliable and accessible for the island's elderly and disabled and student populations. And additionally, I would like to think I speak for the youth um, who will inherit our beautiful island when I say that sustainability is foremost. Um, many studies have indicated that reliable uh, public transportation is an effective way to mitigate CO2 emissions. 
um, and therefore give rise to healthier communities. Truth be told, during my time using GRTA's red line to get to and from school, I have not witnessed as many youth utilize our public transportation system as I would have liked. Due to these reasons, I want to learn more about our public transportation system and ways to make it uh, the sustainable and default option for our youth. Um, during my term, I hope to gain a better understanding of the unique issues our public transportation system may face in our island community to seek ways that GRTA may transition to electric powered transportation and to involve the youth in the conversation and strive to meet their wishes and expectations. And through this appointment, um, again, I hope to expand my knowledge of government processes and learn to become a better decision maker that will positively influence WAMS tomorrow. Sizuus Mwasi again, and thank you for your time. That will conclude what I have to say. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, you're on mute. We're not able to hear you. Sorry about that. I just, I was just kind of uh, asking Tanya about, you know, uh, in the past we had several issues regarding, you know, uh, complaints from our residents uh, on, you know, the transportation not being there on time and the pickup, the location. Is there anything that you can give us to kind of a, uh, invigorate these uh, issues? Um, I'm not quite sure what is meant by invigorate, but I've had, I have heard similar complaints um, just within my own village as well, people using the transportation system. I don't have any idea as of now, since I have mostly an outsider's perspective of um, GRTA and getting into the board, I hope to get a better understanding of why these issues may exist and hopefully um, getting to the root of it, understand how to solve these issues, these common complaints. Thank you very much, Tony. Uh, now I would like to, uh, my colleague, to uh, kind of just address some of the questions to you, Tanya, if you don't mind. Of course. Uh, Senator Brown, you can go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Certainly also thank you to Ms. McDaniel for uh, accepting the nomination and stepping up to serve on the Guam Mass Transit Board. I appreciate uh, your, your interest in serving your community and certainly your testimony today. I did want to ask you, you know, as the chairman had mentioned, obviously there, there are normally common complaints and probably a reputation. I know there's a lot of work that's been put in place, but there's still an underlying reputation with mass transit that we don't have as a reliable system as we would like. And so I wanted to hear your thoughts on how do you think you can contribute maybe to seeing that improved? And then my second question is, um, how do you think you can encourage more more uh, young people in your generation to maybe consider, you know, actually riding the mass transit system and, and making use of it? Because I think as more people are more comfortable and, and make use of it and there's consistent reliability in the system, especially the elderly in our community, a lot that, that may not have access to a vehicle or just don't want the hassle of driving and would prefer just to, to ride the bus and go from one place to the other. So I want to get your thoughts also on that and, and how you think you can contribute maybe to encouraging uh, more people, including your generation, to participate and ride the mass transit. Mm, yes, about that. I feel the best way, personally, I feel is by word of mouth, mouth. When I tell people that I do use the public transportation system, sometimes they're quite surprised by that. And I think over time, using that sort of method will help encourage people like, okay, this person actually uses the public transportation system. It's like probably pretty safe to use. Um, that, that's the thing, mostly, I would say. I know social media campaigns can be sort of iffy. Um, as a youth myself, I find that pushing things on social media can be effective, but other times it, it's off. Usually the thing people go to is social media, but um, personally, I feel word of mouth is what works, like actually hearing that someone uses the public transportation system is a whole nother thing than it just being advertised. 
Um, I feel my generation at times can be somewhat desensitized to the ads we see on social media. That's immediately what I think of um, when doing outreach to the youth. Well, I certainly hope with your tenure, though, that that's something you can seriously look at because, I mean, there's there's much to gain. I mean, I, I wouldn't hesitate and I spent a number of years in Hawaii, you know, just getting off a plate and getting on a bus there um, mm-hmm. because very consistently reliable system. It's something I participated, I've ridden. Um, and I want to see that get to that here on Guam because we hear a lot of the, the need for the, the transportation. But, you know, there just seems to be a few hurdles that are still there in terms of um, confidence and reliability in the system so that people don't look at, it, oh, it's just something for the select few. Maybe they don't have a car. But I think a lot of people, particularly elderly, I mean, if they knew, you know, and I know there are key areas, of course, where the bus goes to, but if they knew there's reliability in the system, they can get to where they're going in a timely manner. They know when the buses are arriving and departing, uh, especially because they may not choose to drive or may not be safe for them to drive anymore, but yet still have mobility, which I think is what we'd like to have mobility. It might be to go to the grocery store, the shopping center, an appointment. Uh, and then also for young people, you know, just uh, so you're not worrying about them individually in their own cars riding all over the place. And then just with the cost of, you know, fuel, uh, it might mm-hmm. be something that our residents might find is, uh, you know, a quality of life issue and, and allows them the mobility that they would like to have uh, to go where they want to go. But thank you very much. Thank you also to the executive uh, manager of uh, GRTA on uh, participating and providing his testimony in support of your nomination. And I, I look forward, uh, Ms. McDaniel, for you at this young age to have the uh, interest and initiative is a really good thing. There was a time many years ago, I was I was like you starting out at, when I was still very young. And I'll tell you, it, it's paid off all the things I've been able to do in my career over the years. It's really been very beneficial because you you get a lot of experience at a very young age. And that that really adds to your chest of uh, your treasure chest of uh, experiences and capabilities that will pay off uh, many years into your future and into your career and whatever your endeavors are. Uh, having this experience uh, will definitely be an asset to you. And in turn, you can continue to contribute back to the community. So thank you so much. And Mr. Chairman, thank you for the opportunity to ask questions and comment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Gitano. Is there anybody, uh, uh, Senator, that wants to uh, address the question to Tanya? Is there anybody else? Okay, Richard, uh, how's everything going on, Perry? Uh-huh. Uh, I have uh, an accommodation. Well, you know, we've been working really diligently to ensure that we continue on with our mission. Uh, I do have great news. We just got word that uh, our buses are uh, in route uh, because, as you know, we did have, because of the pandemic, uh, this was, was a nationwide problem with parts. And uh, we just got word that uh, the buses that were allocated for Guam have been worked on and they should be arriving real soon. And also for the public to know, when I first took over back in January, we had 30 bus drivers. I'd like to proudly say we currently have 52 bus drivers right now. I'm sorry, 42 bus drivers right now with 10 10 more coming from our bus driver boot camp. Thanks to the uh, governor, lieutenant governor with the uh, help of Department of Labor and GCC. So good things are to come for the uh, Guam Regional Transit Authority and I'm really, I'm really excited. Thank you. Richard, are we still, uh, uh, do we have a uh, uh, separate uh, transportation for the veterans? Because I remember a couple of months ago, uh, we kind of just came out with uh, the transportation strictly for the veterans. Do we still have that? Yes, we do, Mr. Chair. Uh, it's the Coalition Transportation Center. It's not only for the veterans, it's also for people who want to go to the governor and lieutenant governor's new relief center for assistance. So that's still ongoing as long as our partnership with OHAP. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Tanya, do you have anything uh, before closing? Not at this moment, Senator. Okay. I would like to thank everyone of you for your participation in today's confirmation hearing for Ms. Tanya D. McDaniel. And if you have any written testimony, you can email it to my email, uh, senator at senatorjpterlahi.com, 
or hand delivery to my office at 777 Route 4, MVP Center Suit 101 The time is currently 11.15 and the Committee on Public Safety, Emergency Response, Military Veterans Affairs, Marriage Council of Guam, and Public Transit is now adjourned. Thank you very much.